July usually has a smack in the middle of hurricane season. And we got bombarded with all those terms regarding tropical systems. Well, they're all referring to stages in the life cycle of a hurricane. It usually starts out as a collection of thunderstorms over warm tropical waters. As these thunderstorms become better organized around a low pressure center, we have what we call a tropical depression. As it becomes better organized and builds, and the central pressure drops, we get what we call a tropical storm. This is where it gets a name when the winds hit 35 miles per hour at the surface. Now, continuing with the organization, we move up to a hurricane where it has developed spiral bands of thunderstorms that wind themselves in towards the central eye. Now, they typically will track from the east to the west, moving along with the trade winds in the tropics. Now, if they encounter the jet stream, they will tend to be deflected to the north and back out to the east. We call that recurving. Now, because they follow these tracks, here in Virginia, we have relatively few initial landfalls of named storms, but that doesn't mean that we're without problems from them. These remnants of these storms can carry with them enormous amounts of water, and when they drop that as heavy rainfall on Virginia, they can give rise to a great deal of flash flooding, especially in higher elevations, or riverine flooding further downstream. So remember, long after the network news may have stopped covering that big hurricane that made landfall on the Gulf Coast, we still have to be careful here in Virginia because the remnants of those storms can cause quite a bit of problems here. And I'm Jerry Stenger with the Climatology Office at the University of Virginia wishing you a very safe hurricane season.